Welcome back. Ahead of today's impeachment trial, many in the liberal-leaning media arguing that convicting former President Trump is a moral necessity. We'll play you this. This is one exchange on CNN last night. I am deeply disappointed in former President Trump. He was not honorable. He let a lot of people, peaceful people, down. I have to leave judging him up to others. Also says, I deeply regret and am very sorry I entered the Capitol building on January 6, 2021. I should not have been there, period. Uh, he should have led with that. So how, why does he believe that the president wasn't honorable and let down a lot of peaceful people? One of the things that you've missed out and others have missed out on is the, the propaganda and the talk, the talk by Trump. All right, let's bring in our panelists to discuss. We have Jaden Horan, political and cultural contributor at Metropolitan Magazine, also a former Hill communications staffer. Welcoming in Democratic strategist and attorney Kelly Hyman. And finally, Republican strategist Brian Trasher, author of this book here on your screen, Laws and Sausage. Very interesting. All right, Jaden, I'm going to start with you here. Uh, what do you make of sort of this argument that's being floated that, you know, if, if Trump is not convicted, you're on the wrong side of history? Jaden, what do you make of the assessment? <laughs> this is a ridiculous morality play by Democrats. What we know is that Democrats aided and abetted violence all summer long. And when it's one sided, they're allowing it to to essentially you know, be used against a president for political purposes. And frankly, I think, you know, Senator Paul, you know, he he made a, a cogent point this weekend with what Schumer did with the Supreme Court. You know, if Democrats are going to look at criminalizing speech of politicians, then they need to criminalize all speech or they need to recognize that no speech should be criminalized, no matter how abhorrent it is. All right. Let me just uh, get forward, by the way. That was the um, uh, self-proclaimed uh, QAnon shaman, uh, for that letter that Cuomo was talking about. Um, let's of play course. another part of that interview and we'll get your response. Jacob now believe, Chansley, uh, your client, that the election wasn't rigged? Does he now know that he was being lied to? So this is a process. The answer is yes. The process, though, is not something that Jake is going through alone. The process of unwinding from years of Trump, years of lies. It sound like he's you being uh, deprogrammed from a cult. Uh, deprogrammed from a cult. Um, those words you're seeing a lot, especially in mainstream media. Uh, Brian Trasher, I'll go to you and have your response. Well, yeah, I heard that Joe Biden came out of his basement and saw his shadow, so we're going to have four more days of impeachment. Look, th this is just the Democrats uh, displaying their Trump derangement syndrome uh, for the world to see for a second time. They're going to fail a second time, and they're only going to guarantee not only that the Republicans take over Congress in two years, but that, that the Republicans are going to impeach Joe Biden, because there's no longer a threshold or a reason you need to impeach a president. Uh, as far as this, this QAnon shaman guy, first of all, this is a guy who has extreme mental problems. Um, we've seen him in pictures and videos attending Antifa rallies, so there's no evidence that he's an actual Trump supporter. It's very obvious that he is now just spewing talking points written by his attorney. Um, and this is a guy who is refusing to eat because the jail he's in won't serve him organic food. Does that sound like a normal, well-adjusted human being to you? Well, he's also facing, obviously, legal challenges for trespassing in the Capitol. Uh, so his attorney will have to advise him on that. But, Kelly, I, I want to go to you somewhat to Brian's point, this idea here that this impeachment uh, will likely fail. Rather, the conviction will likely fail because Republicans, there won't be enough who would side with Democrats in this effort to convict Donald Trump, the private citizen at this point. So, Kelly, I'll ask you, do you think this impeachment trial is worth continuing on, considering, um, obviously, you know, all those Trump voters and Republicans out there who would say this is ar and argue that this is just more divisiveness, that this is not bringing the country together? Kelly, is this worth going ahead and continuing out? Absolutely. I definitely think it's worth uh, continuing. I think people need to be accountable for the actions. And I think the American people need to see exactly what happens. And ultimately, it's up to the Senate. But I really would like to hear from Donald Trump. I really think it's important for him to testify and to tell his story, to tell American people. If he believes that he did nothing wrong, then he should tell the American people and take the witness stand and testify. 
Jaden, do you feel that way? There are Democrats that are pushing, saying, hey, we want to see him testify. Uh, the president, uh, former president said he is not testifying. His attorney submitted some 75 pages as to why. Uh, what are your thoughts, Jaden? Do you want to hear from the former president? No, I don't. And I don't think the American people really want to either. Because, again, if we're going to make a direct connection to incitement to violence, we have to make that connection first. And frankly, it, it cannot be made because the president did not go say, go kill members of Congress. He said, go hold them accountable. And frankly, the same rhetoric that the president used, the rhetoric has been used by the left. And we draw, we draw no direct connection. And the left does not draw a direct connection between the violence that was perpetrated over the summer and what they said. So again, I don't think that, I, that the president should speak. I don't want to hear from the president because the president did not do anything wrong in terms of what he, of what occurred after what, with what he said. Should he have said it? That, you know, that is, of course, debatable. And what the results of what happened are, are disastrous. But the president is not responsible for it. All right. Well, great points that we are hearing from our panelists, Jaden, Kelly, and Brian. If you don't mind sticking around, we want to keep this conversation going. And we know Democrats don't have the votes, as we're talking about, to convict President Trump. They would need 17 Republicans to flip, but they won't stop here. Ahead, we're going to talk about what else Democrats are planning in their attempt to block the former president from seeking office again. That and more next.